Hey, uh, just wanted to show how Tesla operates under a fair square rain in a city called Ypsilanti and we're going back to Ann Arbor. It's not too far from each other, they're literally neighboring cities or towns, whatever you call it. So you can see it literally gives you the first error is poor weather detected and I don't think this is too poor for full self driving. That's a $12,000 add-on on the vehicle to say it's poor weather this is i can literally see it with my eyes there's some heavy rain i can't see much i understand that the cameras are not gonna see it too but for this rain like that's completely visible as you can, you can see come on you can't say poor weather for twelve thousand dollars any car should be able to do this but yeah um so again let's see how it operates okay this one by the way this road itself is one of the worst roads in entire I would say entirety of Michigan uh, you see it has a lot of bombs a lot of potholes so if the video like if the video is bobbly or stuff like that you know forgive me it's not me it's the road itself I'm wondering how Tesla is gonna, uh, you know, look into the right now. It's it's saying like you know we're perfect with other roads, and let's say you're driving in California, all the roads are perfect. You pay toll, all that stuff. So sure, your roads are really good. But what if you go to a state where the roads are not good, and you have to maneuver over those huge potholes? Because me personally, I've paid a lot of, uh, you know. Like I've paid a lot just for the pothole damages. I've replaced rims. I've replaced uh, um, what do you call it? Tires. I had to buy the tire production plant actually to get away with the pothole damages in Michigan. So again, our roads are bad. You can get ha have a stone flying out and then crack your windshield. It's just bad luck. Um, so I think how overall I don't I want to see how Tesla operates on those level on those levels when when you know the full self driving is no more a beta version it's like it's called full self driving full self driving I think the only reason they call it beta right now is to get away from all the lawsuits and everything uh, but yeah also something just, anyone should be very, uh, really careful about is when you have the full, full self-driving beta it says you have five warnings that you can you know avoid looking at this using your phone whatever you want to do all that it sees because there's a camera right there on top you guys know uh, and sees that you are using your phone or stuff like that it will record it and it will give you a warning once you have five warnings it takes away the full self-driving I'm not too sure if it takes away only from those people who have the, um, what do you call it, the trial version. I would assume it's the case because if I pay $12,000, what do you mean? I only have five tries. So that's something that uh, I, I wanted to point out. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys have this. Uh, right now, the wipers are working fine, but sometimes, when even the rain will stop, the wiper will still be acting up and will still be going like crazy. Um, so Tesla, please work on those too. I mean, I know there is a sensor for whatever, but there's literally a camera too. If there is literally no rain or anything, try to not use the wipers. Uh, it was a pretty smooth drive so far, uh, no issues. I know a lot of times Tesla is right now on the full self drive making mistakes. One of my friends tried parking the car, he has a different Model Y. Uh, parking the car uh, did not park at all on the right spot. Uh, second time it took someone to the oncoming traffic. Uh, that could have been really, really bad. 
So it does it does have its full flaws, guys. Do not be uh, even if you tend to pay that twelve thousand dollars. Are you are you sure you want to leave your car completely autonomous? You know by not monitoring what the car is doing. I think you have to be very careful even while while using it. Um, the only part is you know if you if you're eating while driving, so you can you can do that I guess. But I don't think you can be fully not focused on the road uh, with the full self driving beta version. Uh, me personally I would use that it's shorter to go to my house from that lane even though I'm using Google Maps it's still saying to stay on this man I tell you this Google this Google Maps sometimes takes you to really really weird routes uh, just yesterday it was taking me to a dirt road three times and if I literally go straight and there's a road I don't need to take dirt road with this car this car with how low profile this car is, I am gonna pay for those damages again and I don't want to. So see, it's gonna give that Honda a space and it's so slow right now. It's like going 28 miles, like there's huge distance, but still very slow because I was trying to give it space. And now look at that, even as the, the lights are green, it's still going very slow. Um, this is what creates the snake uh, snake uh, effect on the traffic and then everyone behind you is slowing down and you know you have suddenly you have a huge jab. I guess right now the speed is 35 miles per hour as a limit so it's just doing auto max as you know whatever it thinks is the right thing to do. Oh wow there's just a car reversing right there on the middle of the road. Okay, I was able to understand that, so good job. I was able to see that and make that decision. He's slowing down so so far ahead of that car already um, and usually for that reason you are gonna you know miss miss the light or whatever but yeah I think uh, this is already this town that we were supposed to come in it's not too far from here our destination but that was a pretty fair uh, fair drive handled the road pretty good was able to understand a few things so yeah i think uh it's i don't think we are testing this uh, full self driving beta i think tesla's testing it on us so i the more the people use it the better it's gonna get so if you have use it but be very careful very cautious when you're using it and make that decision if this is worth i'm just trying to keep it very natural i'm trying to keep it you know my own experience just like a vlog um and I think out of that, you guys can make the decision if you want to pay that $12,000 uh, for for the car. It's full self-driving beta, full self-driving version or not. I think $12,000 is a lot given that Tesla's right now, like the new Model 3 is like, with savings or whatever, they advertise it as $38,000. So you're literally adding one third of the price again on the car just for full self-driving. So make that decision if it's worth it or not. Again, thank you guys for watching. More vlogs will be coming up. Uh, and let me know if you guys need anything in particular to see. So yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.